Hey guys, it's me, Awesome Person 2, and today I'm going to be reading the entire Space Chimps movie script from 2008. And yes, face reveal! You get to see my face. You probably already know what I look like if you know me or if you watch my That's Relatable channel. But yeah, <clears throat> so I'm going to try to make this video completely unedited, just like to show the entire time of myself reading it no breaks or anything and um on my phone here i'm gonna time hold on let me look at my camera yeah, here yeah i'm gonna time how long it takes me so yeah all right since the dawn of time space flight has been a dream the rocket made it a reality but before a man braved that first giant step the brave stepped into the rocket and the brave were chimps Ham the first was the first American to boldly go where no man or chimp had gone before. And tonight, his brave legacy lives on. Introducing Ham the third, Ham's one and only grandson. Thank you, thank you, no autographs, no flash photos. Okay, fine, photos. I'll sign them later. Ladies and gentlemen, strap, strap yourselves in as we embark on a mission to the stars. Space stars, blah, blah, blah. Enough with the lecture. Let's get to the action. Aim high, buckle up. Chin down, opposable thumbs in. When are you going to stop worrying about me, Houston? Space is in my veins. And between your ears. It's showtime. Here we go. Come on. Let's make some noise. Let's tear the roof off this tent. We're going to go bananas. Hop. Hey. Hoop. Prepare to be amazified. Let's light this candle. Say it with me. T minus three, two, one. Blast off. Woo hoo hoo hoo! Ladies, I'm back again. I'm so excited. I can't just hide it. Keep your eye on that landing pad. No monkey business. Stay on target, hotshot. Big finale coming up. Hoo hoo! And a flipsy, and a dipsy, and a do. Woohoo! Whoa! 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 Oh lord! Whoa! 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 This is not good. Oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 He's always showboating. Ta-da! It's all good, folks. That's why I put the helmet on the monkey. The infinity probe successfully advancing past the lunar orbit status. Unmanned and remote controlled mission. Sh search for life, bro. I can't speak. I might try to, uh, I'm pausing really quick. I'm gonna pause my time. I might try to put like the movie underneath me or the parts I'm saying if it matches. Detecting an unidentified space anomaly. Warning system malfunction. System malfunction. It's so pretty. Ha! Come here, little flutter eye. Oh no! Zartog! Can't you breaths read? Keep away from my house! Oi! Hmm? You monster! If I could catch you, punks, I'd dunk you in the Fresnar too. No wonder why everyone in town hates you. Just the way I like it. Huh? Whoa, look, it's coming closer. It's a sky beast. Crudelar, a gift from the sky. Hey, huh? I am I am the Infinity Probe from the planet Earth. We will now perform a full body examination for purely scientific purposes. Oh. Since the dawn of time, man's indomitable spirit has led to great achievements in culture and civilization. He's created wonders in architecture, art, music, engineering. But man isn't all work. He likes to play too. I want to live like them. System control interface operational. Huh? Manual override engaging. Help me. Aha! Huh? A new day has come, and the day is Zartog. The simian program started in the 1960s, and these chimpanzees are like the ones used in the first space missions. When do they go to space? Well, they don't. They're just exhibits of the past. Hey, 
What's up, Comet? I don't know, but something's big. That's what she said. What do you mean, lost? Senator, an affinity was drawn off course by a magnetic attraction from a dimensional anomaly in the space in the time space continuum. In English, it was sucked into a wormhole. My constitutes care about wait. My constitutes care about potholes, not wormholes. Do you know how many potholes we could fix in five billion dollars? Oh, wait, with five billion dollars? Oh, four. Uh, bro, I can't read. Area of the pothole, the power of three multiplied by four, cosine multiplied by seven, carry the two, depending on the factuations as asphalt, labor costs, and overtime. It was a rhetorical question, brainiacs. Our data indicates that infinities emerge on the far side of the universe. As you can see from this image, the infinity has landed on a planet in a crater. Or, oh my. I did not just say that. Crater filled with H2O. It means water. I know what it means. Senator, if the atmosphere is viable, the planet could sustain life. Maybe even an NFL expansion team. This could prove what we've suspected all along. We are not alone. Just think what a mission could do for science. Not to mention t-shirt sales. Political gold. I want astronauts over there pronto. Not gonna happen. Too risky for humans. We don't have a clue how the wormhole will affect living tissue. It could transmogrify the DNA, causing blindness, heart failure, most likely death, gripping. Comet, what are you doing? Getting us a mission. We could send the chimps. Chimps? Chimps. Hmm. Not humans, but not horrible. Show me what you got, guys. Wait, wait, God. Guys, we got a mission. Senator Titan, Luna, and Comet are fully prepared for the mission. They have been training this for their whole lives. Training, shmaining, these chimps are boring. They're chimp nerds. Uh, technically, there's no such thing as nerds in the simian world. I know a nerd when I see one. Do you think he means we're nerds? No, no, we're super cool. What this mission needs is some PR, some sizzle to grab the media's attention. It needs a chimp with the right stuff. It needs someone like him, a real hero with dignity and nobility. He's been dead for 30 years, <clears throat> but he has, but he does have a grandson. Ta-da! Ah, uh, ooh, ooh, ho, 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 Houston, oh, no, oh, oh, thumb pain, ah! When I promised your grandpa I'd look after you, ooh, ow, I never thought I'd be playing pickup sticks with monkey bones night after night. What can I say? I'm an envelope pusher. I can't do anything halfway. Yeah? Well, you keep showboating, and you'll be halfway to the taxidermist. No, no, you can't take him. He belongs to me. Official government business. Eminent domain national security. A lot of other scary black helicopter stuff you don't want to mess with. Oh, he's older than I expected. Well, he ain't no spring chicken either, and you're looking for... Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, I'm a hottie. I'm, I am Dr. S Smothers, and you are going into space just like grandfather. Space? Wrong answer. You got the wrong ham, doctor. Okay, bye. Bye, space lady who's attracted to me. Hey, good to see you. Take care. Don't let the door hit you on the... Well, uh, he seems very excited to go. Kid, you're throwing away the only shot you got. This is the chance to make good, live up to your legacy. Hey, I'm the star of my show, not just the warm-up act for some human astronaut. Your grandfather wasn't a warm-up act, wasn't some warm-up act. He was a NASA astronaut. Got his face on magazines, newspapers, television. He even met the president. Well, I met the chief of police once. Ham! He did something to be proud of. Had a dream and went for it. You got dreams? I'm living my dream. Whoa. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Thanks for supporting your government. Under threat of prosecution. 
Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need that trailer back. Huh? Well, it looks like we're gonna need a new cannonball. You like to travel? Here comes Stan. Wait, here, here he comes. Stan Proud. I can't believe it. We'll be flying with the grandson of the great ham. You sir, sure they said grandson? Whoa. I know my rides. I'm calling the ASPCA. Huh? I demand to talk to my ringmaster. Help! I've been kidnapped. Oh, he's clearly excited to be on a new in a new environment. Oh God! Good glass. Ow! Commander Titan, navigation and coordinates. Ham, ham. Don't care, Lieutenant Luna. It's an honor, sir. Mm mm mm. Yeah. Oh my. Hello, Lady Chimp. Do not mind if I doble. Luna means moon in Latin. That's right, sir. You do know what... Wait, wait, what? Okay. What do you know? Two lovers in language. Names Comet. Computers and electronics. I'm looking forward to serving with you. Sorry, kid, but I gotta play... Uh, sorry, kid, but I gotta play Pooskeepsie. I don't know how to say that. On Saturday. Let's go, Houston. Sir, with all due respect, you've been selected for a mission of, histor of historical significance in the noble pursuit of land of the free, home of the brave, yada, yada, yada. Listen, the only mission I have is to entertain, watch, and learn. Abracadabble. Oh, cool. Oh, perfect. He's a joke. Anyway, best of luck. Break a leg. Blast off whatever it is you say. But I gotta bounce. What are those? Rocket packs. We'll be demonstrating them to the press Saturday morning. My ticket home. Quake, quake with fear. Lord Sortog is here. Ho! Oh, by now you are all aware of the insane power I command with my big shiny driving machine. What? What's a thingamajiggy? Are there any among you who oppose my rule? Ah, uh, wait. So you're saying you're in charge because the thing landed on your hut? Yes, and if you don't obey me, I will dunk you in the Fresnar too. You wouldn't do that, cause I'd be frozen forever. Exactly. Not the Fresnar. Cold. Anyone else fancy a dip? Good. All of you, get to work. Let's get this party started. The Infinity recorded 10 Gs through the wormhole. If the chimp's internal structure cannot withstand the pressure, they will explode like a mouse in a microwave, frying their brains and splattering their guts. Your teeth look amazing. Here comes 5 Gs. Here comes 6 Gs. The thing is going so fast, right? Yoo-hoo! 7 Gs. 8 Gs. This might be a weird time to ask, but will you help me move next week? It's not even that much stuff. We'll make a day of it. Hey, that was fun. You guys got a log ride? My turn. Oh, poor little Comet. He thinks he's going to space. Three chairs, three chimps. Gee, where are we heading for lunch? I'm not eating trans fat anymore. Well, that went well. We'll need you here, Comet. Our eyes and ears. Hey, kid. Did I ever tell you the story of the short-circuiting... Uh, pasta grades in the first Mercury rockets. That was you? It was the day Ham's grandpa and I coined the term. So easy a human could do it. Oh, I don't know. What makes me happier? Einstein's unified field theory or watching monkeys on a treadmill. I am Titan. I am strong. No one wants to sing along. Get a life. One, two. You're lame. Three, four. What? And to think I almost dropped out of Harvard to start a software company. Who's laughing now, Bill Gates? Memorizing sequences is a vital test of the chimp's brain capacity. You guys into sweet jams? When are you going to strain up a fly right? Saturday, about 10 a.m. Ham! I made these radios for the voyage. I think they might work through the wormhole. Huh? You made these? Well, I'm good with machines. Listen, kid, thanks for the banana berry, but I won't be needing it. Comet, I'll take the radio. Uh, hey, kid, special edition simian space shades. Wow, thanks. Sweet.
My fellow citizens, the mission will travel clear across the cosmos where we hope to finally answer the age-old question, Is there intelligent life out there? Review rocket controls. Right thumb go, left thumb stop. Up is right, down is left. You got that? Yeah, yeah, right thumb go, left thumb stop. Now you're seeing it, now you're not. Boop, boop. Where'd it go? Here it is. Hi, I was hiding. Oh, you're missing a link. Chimp up, cannonball. You're not in the circus anymore. M making this giant leap through the wormhole comes at a great risk and danger. Who will blaze this trail for us? The few, the proud, the monkeys. Awesome. A historic moment. And here he, he is a symbol of our country's once and future greatness. Ham the third. Thank you, thank you. Hey, to the circus and beyond. That's gotta hurt. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. How much fuel is in this backpack? Oh, boy. Cool. Uh, wrong way. Incoming. Chimps gone wild. Uh oh. Oh no. Holy nar. Bro, what is the scene? Heads up. Save the children. Run for your lives. Whoa. Wow. Oh, uh. Hey, look. I'm on TV. Oh. Whoa. No. Crazy monkey. He's a maniac. Oh, that's not good. He's a joke. Oh. Woohoo. Which way to the circus? Huh? Uh oh. Ta da! Load him up! What kind of a simulator is this? It looks really realistic. Oh, it is. Okay. I got that out of my system. Wait, no. Not quite yet. Okay, I'm good now. Where are we? Uh, guys? The simulator Earth's getting smaller and smaller. This isn't a simulation, is it? We are now officially space chimps! The horizon has completed its first phase of operation. Oh, wonderful. There you go. Congratulations to us. Ha, yeah. No, that's not straight enough. No, no. Uh, not that. No, it's too straight. Who is this? I don't remember dunking him. No, no, you're doing it all wrong. Move that flander higher. Line up the twabs in a row. Careful with that. It took me all day to dunk. Splork. Yes, Lord Zartog. Kneel to Lord Zartog. Yes, Lord Zartog. Soon the house of Zartog will be finished. It's going to be magnificent. It's a shame the volcano will destroy it when the three suns line up on Triple Sunday. I'm one step ahead of that volcano. That's why I'm building those. These pipes will divert the Fresnar safely away. Nothing will ever destroy the house of Zartog. But if you divert the volcano's Fresnar, the entire village will be buried. Exactly. A glorious reflecting pool to reflect my gloriness. Gloriously. Eh, uh, but, but, but where will we all live? With me, in my dungeon. How gracious are you, my lord. Commander's Log, star date now. Space, the final frontier. I have bravely led... Oh, steward... Stewardess? Can you get me a pillow and my blan... Can you get me a pillow and a blanket? Stay in your seat. It's regulation. I have bravely led my look. No hands, no feet, no tail. Back on Earth, your insubordinate behavior will get you chimp mar... Shield or whatever. I, I don't know. Uh, I lost my place. There we go. You're not going to do that the whole trip, are you? What? Use chimp to replace real f phrases. I tell you, I'm going to kill him. Commander! Violence is against the primate directive. You're right, Lieutenant. Is love against the primate directive? Ah... Listen and learn. Listen and learn, Cannonball. The approach sequence must be activated in order to fire the engines true and fast. Red one first, blue one last. In between, press 365 if you want to stay alive. Permission to speak, Commander? Permission granted. 
You're a dork. I don't like you. Engaging 3D matrix. Ready visual imaging. Fire photon torpedoes. Ah. It's go time, cannonball. Oh yeah? Prove it. Titan, don't! You are a threat to the mission. Ta-da. Oops, I'm sorry. What do you think we should name our kids? What? I'm going to take off. You're do you're going down. Orbital stabilizers. Check. Hey, sister card or sister card? Auxiliary uh, auxiliary Oh, bro, what? Auxiliary thrusters. Check. Collision detector. Check. Circus freak, not your card, huh? I can't take this for another 73 light years. I gotcha. Here it comes. Hang in there. Ding dong ah. Easy of the fur, ferocious George. But easy on the fur, uh, furious George. Bro, I can't read. Unruly crew member has been detained. Ow. And act regulation number 815. What's regulation 815? Guys. I gotta pee. Woo. Talk about suction. Ugh. Oh, and by the way, guys, we lost the toilet paper. Not my fault. Fusters unlined for entry. Wow. Am I glad we're not going into that crazy looking thing? Sorry. While on the mission, I can only hear real astronauts. Then, okay, so I'm going to pause really quick. I'm trying to remember what these scenes are, and I'm trying to sound like the characters. Uh, I kind of don't. Commander kind of sounds like this. I'm um, going to use my normal voice from the main character. Lord Zartog kind of sounds like this. He has, like, voice cracks, but they're smooth. He just talks weird. Alright. Sorry, while on the mission, I can only hear real astronauts. The who did you just say sorry to? Someone else. Then why did you just say someone else? Jerk boy, nitpicker, poop thrower. Maybe there's no music on the radio. Hey, Maki Rita. Circus freak! Approaching dimensional anomaly entry. Brace for the event threshold. Approaching 5 G's. 6 G's. 8 G's. Because of all the G's, they, they, they're they basically getting crushed, so they sound weird saying it. Must. Stay. Alert. Losing consciousness. Now. Titan? Whoa, whoa! Come on, come on. Where's the reverse on this thing? Welcome to Instar. Oh, thank God. How can I help you? Horizon has entered the wormhole. Marvelous. We'll, we'll reacquire signal in 12 minutes, 20 seconds. This better work. We got three chimps strapped into a 3.7 billion spaceship. A dollar spaceship. What could go wrong? Whoa, ho, ho. whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, cool, a planet, and we're heading right for it. Oh my god, we're headed right for it! Wake up, wake up, you gotta land this thing! Okay, no need to panic. You're just hurtling out of a wormhole on the other side of the universe at 9,000 miles an hour and no brakes. Pull up, come on, steering wheel. Please let one of these be a force field. Please, 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 airbags deployed. I did it! I am the smartest chimp in the universe! Woo! No, no, oh, oh! Ow. <laughs> what the heck? Alright. Well, that wasn't so bad. Ship stabilized. Whoa, 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 whoa. Re require signal on five, four, three, two, one. I'm heading to Kinko's later if anyone wants me to run off their resume. You lost the ship? It must be some sort of technical malfunction. Burning microwave popcorn is a technical malfunction. This is a billion dollar disaster! Look on the bright side. If they don't come back, we save five grand on a cake and balloons. We can always count on the 24 hour fail safe restart system. You have 24 hours to bring back those chimps or I'll cut your funding and make this space program history. And I mean every cent. You won't even be able to afford pocket protectors. You monster. 
Remember, no Bucks, no Buck Rogers. Oh, I love Buck Rogers. Who is Buck Rogers? They lost contact. Comment to Luna. Comment, wait, come in, Luna. Must be solar flare and interference. I'll hack the mainframe to filter the signal. Shoot! In my way, wait. In my day, we just yelled louder. Oh, great. We landed in Barstow. Let's see. Elephant's peanut chest. No, not that one. Circus mess hall. Ringmaster's Hugo. Houston's banana closet. Hmm. Whoa. One small step for him. One more small step for him. And yet another small step for him. What are you doing out here? Whoa. Testing for gravity. Yeah, it works. Who authorized you to open this hatch? Commander. Commander? You are a liability to this mission. Ha! Liability? I was steering this crate while you and Commander Coma were sawing logs. You stayed awake and you didn't activate the landing sequence? That's all you had to do. Not true. I was catching up to my panicking. No! Don't! What? The air could be poisonous. Oh no. <gasps> poisonous air! Lieutenant's log. Choking! Air is breathable. Gasping! The temperature is normal. Dying! Winning daytime, uh, winning daytime any, and there is no signal of intelligent life. Blah! I just cracked my neck really good doing that. Alright. Look, the planet has three suns. Amazing! Just like every science fiction movie involving another planet guessed there would be. As you all know, tomorrow is Triple Sunday. Our three suns will come together as one, and the volcano will explode! And, and in honor of the special day, and more importantly, me, I'm throwing a celebration, a sort of palace warming party. Your overlord, what? Another metal beast fell from the sky. A metal beast? Like this one? Only bigger! That's what she said. Only bigger. <laughs> Only bigger. Bigger than mine? <laughs> It's not the size of the piece. It's what you do with it that matters, my lord. What the heck? All right. Traitor. <laughs> I, I am not a traitor. Bro, that sounds really bad out of context. All right. Uh, the ticket back. Uh, okay, I take it back. You can't take it back. Now it's out there. They all heard. You all heard, right? Oh, Splork. Uh, me? Congratulations. You're the general. Take a party of warriors, uh, and bring me the Sky Beast. Uh, okay. The tall guy, you with the red belly, guy with the pointy hat, and that splotchy one in the back. I'm always picked last. Mount up! Take the f- Take- Wait, take the Fluvians! Imagine we're the first astronauts to ever set foot on this planet. Those photos would be front page news. The most important images of the century. Can you get one on my good side? Oops, I forgot. I'm on good side. Maybe, uh, maybe take one of me looking heroically with my chin like this. Oh, and another one like this. Clown. Ever alert. Brooding. Poised to strike. Candid. Laughing candid. I've been naughty. Huh? Hmm. Wait, Luna. I wouldn't do that if I were you. This is the first sign of complex life on an alien planet. Astronauts gather knowledge. It's what we do. I just be a little careful. You careful? I'm just I'm just saying that looks like a flower used by Piddles the clown. I got to hear this. Piddles is a very cute clown who has a cute little box covered with cute little flowers. The kids think it's the sweetest thing they've ever seen. And so boo, a giant snake pops out. Please, I'm a trained astronaut. You know what I'm doing? Tr trained astronaut? Wait, you know what I'm doing? Wait, I know what I'm doing, bro. I can't read. Trained astronaut. Space chimps are a joke. Is that what you think of your grandfather? Just pick your flowers and let's get back to Earth. If there's no traffic in the wormhole, uh... I can still make the 8 o'clock show at the circus. Uptight scientific bookworm chimp lady. 
Hmm. What does Piddles do next? He usually throws a bucket of confetti on the audience and then runs around smashing pies in his own face. I don't think that's going to help us here. My Simeon Space Manual. There must be something in here about what to do. Alien captures, alien uprisings, how to say no to an alien probe. Manual override. Confetti. I can't explain it. It just scares things. You sure they're not scared of them? Huh? I know this sounds crazy, but I think these guys are going to be super chill. Death to two strangers. Oh, great name for a band. Titan, wake up. The Sky Beast is ours. Quick, this way. But we can't leave the ship or Titan. Looks like they're leaving us. Return to Lord Zartog. Titan, get them. Fire. We should have never left the ship. This is all your fault. Me? I didn't sign up for this. I should be in the makeup trailer, not stuck on an alien planet saving you. You saving me? I'm the astronaut here. You're just a PR stunt. Wow, you're really sinking low. Yeah, well, you deserve it. No, I mean you're literally getting lower. We're sinking. Ah! I can't get out. Like we say in the circus, the show ain't over until the lady... Uh, wait. Bruh. The show ain't over until the bearded lady shapes her back. I said lated. What? Ew. It's gross as it sounds, too. It's as gross as it sounds, too. Ham! Climb on my shoulders and grab that vine. Excuse me, that's my leg. They're in the swamp. Attack! Now what? Swing, very stiff one. Swing, swing like the wind. Release your inner chimp. Come on, Luna. Like you're on a trapeze. I'm not from the circus. Life's a circus, Luna. Only the tents get bigger. Fire! Tarzan yell. Ham, I can't do this. I'm gonna fall. Yes, you can, Luna. You can do this. I can't. Use your shoulders. Kick your legs. Swing and let go. Shoulders, legs. Swing, let go. Shoulders, legs. Swing, let go. Nice. There you go. You're getting it. Shoulders, legs, swing, let go. You're getting it. The chimp has been released. Swing, let go. Hey, check this out, Ham. Woo-hoo-hoo. No. Woo-hoo-hoo. See? Nothing to it, Ham. Just a couple of chimps swinging through a jungle of vines with eyes and mouths. Eyes and mouths? Snake one meets, meets snake two. Woo-hoo. Get them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ham, help. Luna, woo-hoo. It's showtime. Afternoon, ladies. Some first date, huh? This is not a date. Oh, yes, it is. And I really hope to see you again. Because we're about to fall. Ham, what do we do now? Aim for the soft patch. Spread your arms wide. Chin down, thumbs in. I hope you know what you're doing. Are you kidding me? I do this every day of the week. Except Monday. That's my me day. Ham. Luna. Chin down. Ham. Woo. Ham. Ham. You're okay, right? Ham, get up. Come on, Ham. I'm sorry I was so rough on you. Sure, you were irresponsible, dangerous, and undisciplined. But you saved my life. And you were kind of funny. In an unbelievably annoying way. And you were cute? No. Handsome? No. Like Brad Pitt? But way shorter and more hairy? What? Luna, do you copy? Let me just say one thing. Luna's alive. You are the most annoying, obnoxious, self-centered creature I've ever met. Ham's alive. Luna? Ham? Do you read me? Come in. You're an embarrassment. We can hear them. But they can't hear us. We'll need to collaborate the Gregorian way. Array. Wait, okay. Replace the helix mirror and cross-feed the surrounding shroud. The only word I understand was feed. Mission log. We are stranded on a hostile alien planet. Commander Titan has been kidnapped. And we're falling in love. No, no we're not. Ignore that last part. Delete. Delete. Kidnapped? Stranded? 
We got to move in, kid. We've lost our ship. And we only have 22 hours before the automatic pilot engage, uh, engages and we're stuck here forever. Whoa. What? What do you mean, stuck? The ship... Wait. The ship has safe has a safety program to automatically fly back to Earth 24 hours after we land. It was in your manual. Was that before or after the chapter on the fleet of rescue ships they'll send to save us? Ham, we got, we, we got one chance of getting home. I've had worse odds than that. Let's get moving. Behold, Sky Beast 2, the sequel. Yes. Greetings, aliens. Don't worry, you didn't wake me. I needed to get up. I am Commander Titan. I have traveled through space in search of knowledge to explore the outer reaches of the universe. Make first contact with aliens like yourselves. Seal you in mylar wrap and take you to my home planet to be d dissected. Dissected? Oh, you know, we lay you down on some nice wax paper, slice you open with a butter knife. Oh? But first, you'll need to form a line so that I can label the cat. Uh, label and catalog you. Organism 1, Organism 2, Organism 3. I am Lord Zortog, ruler of the planet Malgor. Zortog, eh? Your parents named you that? Cause you are different. I like you. Is that, uh, with one G or two? I'll take that as a one. Organism 4, Organism 5. Ow! Ah, there's... There's a lot of you. Whoa, whoa there, mister. That's space agency property. You're in direct violation of interstellar protocol. But if you cooperate with me, I will ask the tribunal to go easy on you. Cooperate with you? I'm going to destroy you. I appreciate your honesty. You're a, you're a good man, Zartig, and a worthy adva adversary. Be proud. Prepare... Prepare to be frozen forever. Ha! You don't even know how to use the reticulated micro, micro movement device. Even a first year cadet knows how to do that. Hmm? Who oh, you show me? The secrets of the beast? Negativo. You're not trained. You're not qualified. You're not even insured. Please, I'll do anything. You can help me find my crew. There are more? Two others. Uh, we we lost them in Gunlevik jungle. What kind of idiot would go in there? Ham. Ham. You gotta admit, being on a weird alien planet is almost cool all my life. I dreamed of being a real astronaut, just like your grandfather. And here I am. Real astronauts? Wake up, Luna. The only reason we're here is to see if we explode in space. You're wrong. We are real astronauts. Whoa. Ham, which one of us lost our flashlight that moves really fast behind rocks and has a head? Cool. Please, I mean you no harm. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Luna. My, my name is Killa Walla Watsi. Wait. My, my name is Killa Walla Wiza Sabaha. Killa Walla Wiza Wiza. Oh, great. It's drunk. I'm the last free Luzian from the village of Kilawala Luzi the Wawawiwi. We come from Earth, you know. Earth, iTunes, greenhouse gases, David Beckham. Whoa. What's with the glow? Wait, what's up with the glow in the dark brain case? My head lights up when I'm scared. You don't need to be scared of us. Wait, we're your friends. Friends? Are you alone? Yes, my village was imprisoned by Zartog and his Sky Beast. Its Metal Claws gave him the power to enslave the planet. Metal Claws? The Rover! We too came from the stars. Yes, I saw you crash! You saw that? That was me! What? Oh, wait, hold on. Why did I scroll? Alright. Do you know where our ship is? At Zartog's place. Can you lead us there? Don't worry, we'll protect you. Kilowala Zala Walla Kilowala Zella. Oh, let's just call her Kilowatt, or we'll be here all day. Or night. We will set off in the morning. 
the journey is perilous. Bro, I, I can't read right now. I'm just going to skip that. Uh, we must cross through the the valley of very bad things. It is a land of untold danger, agony, and torture. Not to mention avian irk flu, death spouts, mad floor disease, the cave of the flesh devouring beast, and the dark cloud of id, from which no one escapes unchanged. Sleep. You'll need your rest. I could use a little shut eye. Stay on your side of the planet. You earthlings have a funny way of showing love. We don't do we. Night, honey. Up wake, up wake. Well, that was refreshing. We were asleep for like five seconds. Yep, just one of the benefits of living on a planet with three suns. Huh? Follow me. Listen and learn, Zelig. The PR5 th uh, 13i is a high performance, all purpose space exploration vehicle. Rough, rugged, and ready, the engineers have outfitted her with defense systems for every situation. And the 60 million kilowatt inter uh, internal nuclear power plant guarantees she's always got enough juice to get the tough jobs done. Ready to take it for a spin? Yes, my thoughts exactly. Whoa. Oh, the waiting is oh, the waiting is just mind numbing. Well, I really need a Snickers bar. I don't know about you. I'm allergic to peanuts. Wow. This is even better than circus peanuts. I still can't believe the grandson of the great ham is a clown. Hey, like what I do? Don't you want to be a hero? You mean like a sandwich? I wish I could have welcomed you with fruit from our village, but Zartog had it all destroyed. We're sorry, Kilowatt. Why would you build a machine like that? We didn't. The humans did. What are humans? They're like us. Well, 99.9% .9 like us. It, but it's the uh, 0 .01 that makes them own everything. Don't. But they're big gumdrops. That is not food. That is a glob hopper. Guys, is it just me? Or is that a really handsome pile of glob hoppers? Hmm. Hey, check this out. Woo. Why any life form would want to mimic you is one of the unsolved mysteries of the universe. Come on, bust out the scissors. This rug ain't gonna cut itself. Ham. I never danced before. Oh, okay. So we'll take baby steps. Give me your arm. There you go. Not too shabby. You're a natural. I am, really? Are you kidding me? Absolutely. We. I am popping as well as locking. Now the bus stop. Robot King Tut. Rump Dart. Flevians, run for it. Ham, we can't outrun them. Man, I love these dudes. Come on, they don't call me the hamster for nothing. You know, because, like, my name is Ham, and I'm running on a, in a wheel. Never mind. Ah, whoa, ow, ow, ah, get him. Oh, no, pull up, pull up. Yes, whoa, ow. <laughs> We've really got to work on stopping. No, no, wait, don't leave gumdrop, people. Your stopping skills are great. They aren't afraid. They aren't afraid. It is the cave of the f uh, flesh devouring beast. What is with this planet? Would it kill you to have a cave of cute little kittens? Ham, we got to finish this mission. We only have 12 hours till the ship takes off. Through the cave is the only way to our ship. Run! Hurry, Luna! I want this party to be rem I want this party to be remembered forever, beyond anything Malgor has ever seen. You'll need streamers. Nothing like nothing screams festive like streamers. I love them. Oh, and uh, some uh, goodie bags for when your guests leave. It's a fun, simple way to saying thank you. Thanks for coming. Splork, grab a pad. Uh. Maybe we'll get lucky and this beast will only devour our flesh with his eyes. Ham? Or not? Oh, we have to find the exit. Ah, ham. Luna, help. Ah, this way. It's too narrow for him to get through. Help. Faster. It's gaining on us. Oh, whoa. Dead end. Oh, no. Come on. Ah, whoa. Kilowatt, turn yourself, turn yourself off. 
cannot. Too scared. But if we can't get out of here, we're dead. That's not helping. Okay, here's a trick. To control your fear, imagine what you're most afraid of and then imagine overcoming it. Quick, Ham. It's breaking free. Come on. You can do it, Kilowatt. Be brave. Okay, control your fear. 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 Wow, it works. The exit. Let's go. It's blocking the way out. We're trapped. I have been scared my entire life, but you showed me how to control it. Kilowatt? No! What are you doing? What I must. Kilowatt! If you swallow me, I will only grow stronger. So basically this scene, there's just like giant slug monster and it's blocking the exit. And this character that just got swallowed, they're just a little pink alien, but they glow when they're scared and they just overcame their fear in the dark cave. So now they basically sacrifice himself so the chips could get out. That's what that scene was. It's very weird. Kilowatt, no! Ham, hurry! Why did she do that? Oh, so stupid and brave. That was the bravest thing I've ever seen. Whoa. Where are we? Whoa. This must be the dark cloud of id. Oh, it's making me feel weird and depressed. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't even be here. I'm just a low rent circus chimp. How does that make you feel? Like a stupid pet trick, which is all I am, a joke. I could be replaced by a cannonball. Oh, man. Delirium, crying, sobbing, they're running out of oxygen. Come on, sport. Got to get through. I'm almost there. I'm not even a good chimp. I've never once said thank you to Houston. He's like a father to me. Oh, ham. All my life, I've been living in my, f in my famous grandpa's shadow. How does that make you feel? You know what it's like to live in a shadow? It's cold. I never knew I could... Wait, I knew I could never become a hero, so I became a clown. I think you had a breakthrough. I'm afraid your time is up. It's a dark cloud of id talking to them, and then there, drops them out of the cloud. Here goes, with this much power, they'll hear us for sure. Oh, Lord, Ham. You know all that back there? It was just the cloud talking. So, it's okay. Sometimes the conflict between the sup superego and the id can cast a long shadow in the soul. I have no idea what you just said. I'm going to walk this way now. Pathetic Grovian slaves in Malgor. Welcome to Triple Sunday. Soon the suns will align and the volcano will explode. And a lot of you are not going to live. Ahem. That's your cue. Now there's a band of these little aliens. And there's like the leader Zartog. This is an old song. Do you want to rock? Do you want to rock? Do you want to rock right now? Now pour to you my way. Do you want to rock? Do you want to rock right now? Yeah! Dance or dunk? You. Who? You're not dancing. Yes, I am. No, that's more of a shuffle. Nope, it's a dance. Shuffle. Dance. Shuffle. Shuffle. Okay, shuffle. Whoa. That's not... That's not... Wait, that's like the second biggest evil lit... A liar lair I've ever seen, bro. I can't read. I thought the I was before the A. And I've seen two. Hey, there's the ship. And there's the rover. Now it's my... And now it is my thrill to present the main attraction. The monkey who showed me the way... The way. Here's Titan. Oh my gosh, Titan? Oh my gosh. And he's not asleep. Oh, if we just had our rocket packs, we could rescue Titan from the air. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, we're not paid to think. As a matter of fact, we're not paid at all. Think about that. Uh, wait. Chimps don't leave chimps behind, Luna. I hear ya. I hear ya. I do. But here's what I have to say about it. Let's leave him. Ham. Fine, we'll save him. Begin torturously slow dunking mechanism. Uh, oh, uh, Zartig. Now that I've gone to know you, you seem like a reasonable alien, which is why I'm willing to offer you a plea bargain. No. Let's let's go. Whoa. Here we go, ladies. Sh 
Sure, uh, sure, go ahead, duck me. Now you'll never learn how to use the 3D radar. Huh? What's 3D radar? Yeah, oh, whoa. That's right, 3D radar. Luna, follow me. Roger that. Who's Roger? Is it serious? Tell me, tell me, tell me, please. Flip the bar with the star, not too far to start the radar. You take the left, I'll take the right. Alert, chimpanzees incoming. What? Yee-hoo, fire away. Luna, nice. Now let's get back to the ship so I could save you guys and pilot us home. Woo-hoo, where did those chips go? They escaped. Traitor. Commander launch control is unresponsive. Check diagnostics, huh? Nothing but bells and whistles. But why did they teach us all that stuff if the controls weren't even hooked up? I told you guys, this whole thing was a sham. They wanted to see if our brains still worked after going through a wormhole. We're spam in a can. And we weren't even supposed to open the can. Sorry, Luna, but we're nothing more than guinea pigs. Actually, the guinea pigs are on the Mars mission. We. The ship was on autopilot. The whole time? We were never really flying it. We were never really astronauts. You were right all along. I don't want to be right. Besides, that's the hum That's what humans think of us, not what we should think. Why wasn't I born a rabbit or a squirrel or an art history major? Nobody expects great things from them. Three minutes to lift off. Well, at least we're safe and going home. 500 push-ups uh, with, with each arm. All that training for what? I can't go. What? I know we didn't build the probe, but it came from Earth. We did this to them. I can't run away. We owe it to Kilowatt and this planet. So basically, in the beginning, a probe came from Earth to go to the planet. Lord Zartog took over it, and there's this liquid called Frasnar or whatever the heck. It basically freezes you. You're still alive, but you're just frozen, stuck forever. And then I'm just catching guys up on the story. Then they came by with their little ship, and then... Commander was passed out from all the G's, but the other two got out the ship, walked away. Aliens took over it. Then Zartog was almost... And then uh, Lord Zartog uh, made the Commander Chimp to like do what he said while Commander Chimp t trying to trick him to do stuff. That's what he was doing earlier with the 3D radar. Now uh, Lord Zartog is building a machine that's going to like basically destroy all the homes on the planet besides his... And there were, and the chimps were about to leave, but now Ham wants to help them. Yeah, I know we didn't build that probe, but it came from Earth. We did this to them. I can't run away. We owe it the kilowatt in this planet. I took an oath to return the sh I took an oath to return the ship to Earth, and that's what I'm gonna do. Ham's right, huh? Huh? I'd rather be a hero here on Malgor than a space chump back on Earth, Lieutenant Luna. Lieutenant Luna, that's an order. There goes our ride. So basically, the ship is now automatically going back to Earth, and there's smoke everywhere. And Titan. Commander? What about your oath? Chimps never leave chimps behind. So they thought Commander left, but he didn't. You, sir, are going to make me cry. Ham, we need a plan. The commander on the mission comes up with a plan. And your plan is? Well, the plan. Yes, the plan, of course. Since I'm the commander of the plan, whatever plan is my plan, it's not your plan. It's not Ham's. Titan. Whoa, whoa, Titan is commander. It's party time. We have, con we have contact. The ship has excited the wormhole. Uh, oh, bro, exited. Did I really just say that? Excited? Oh, it kind of looks like it. You just need to add a C. Touchdown in 15 seconds. Okay, here we go. History's history in the making, boys. Roll the ca camera. So now it cuts back to Earth, and the ship that lifted off without the chimps is now landing, and they're about to figure out that none of them are in there. What the? Whoa. Oh, no. I'm afraid the, the chimpanzees did not make it. You think? So now they think they're dead and they're canceling the entire space mission thing. That's it. Mission canceled. Space program's done. Oh no! They're gonna be stuck up there. 
As of tomorrow, this entire agency will be re recommissioned into something useful, like the one of those places where you design and paint and bake your own plates. He does have a point. That is useful. What about the two chimps still here? Two chimps? Two words. <clears throat> Crap. I need water. Animal testing. We have to get mission control. We're their only chance. Follow me. Hold on. Cool. For a 20th, uh, 20th century, uh, century chimp, you're moving pretty quickly into the 21st century. Yeehaw. Whoa. I may be old, but I'm aerodynamic. Woohoo. Whoa. You're not going to have to keep... You're going to get... Uh, I can't read. You're going to have to keep up, son. Woohoo. Great plan. At last. Prepared... At last. Prepared to be dunked. Lieutenant Luna. Yes, Commander. You should have asked Ham to come up with the plan. Three chimps, three coats. Which one first? Is it you? The big one? What? Or will it be you, the adorable one? Or all three at once? Well, as Commander, the least I could do... Well, as a Commander, the least I could do is make sure... Zell bomb here does a dunk, you guys. How would you do that? Because I will teach you the rover's secret to universal domination. Huh? The entire universe? That's big, right? But first, let my crew go. Whoa, 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 what? Tell me. No, don't. So they're trying to trick him so they could not be dunked. Titan, don't. Tell me. Tell me, please. What's he doing? Tell me. Tell it to me. Tell me, please. I'll let you live. So to dominate the universe, hit the yellow button first. Take the blue knob and the and then the green. Then pull the lever in reverse. Oh, this one? That's right. Wait. Wow. You really are stupid. Yeah. And a really bad poet. Oops. Did I say reverse? So when he pulled the lever, he got launched out of that uh, ship there that he was trying to take over the whole place with. Crudlar. That was a joke. Traitor. Woo. Ha huh, ha. Huh. Wowzers. Kilowatt. But how? Kilowatt, you're alive? We saw the flesh devouring beast swallow you. He, he's not big on chewing. But how did you get out? Um, don't make me go there. Ew, what? You guys need a hand? Does anyone want the Zalek statue? Because I'll take it. Oh, yeah, so when he was launched out of his uh rocket, he fell into the big bowl of Fresnar, and he froze, and now he's a statue. You'll have to liberate us from the bonds of slavery. We are eternally grateful. We owe you our lives. We came, we crashed, we kicked his butt. What? Why do you have to bring his butt into the uh, uh, butt into it? It's a saying. That's how it goes. No, that's not how it goes. I'm like 99% sure that's how it goes. You earthlings have a funny way of showing love. They keep repeating some of the same lines over and over. Luna, do you read me? Hey, Luna, is that a banana in your pocket? Would you evolve? Sorry, comment to Luna. Comment? Luna. Comet, oh, thank heavens, you'll never believe what's happening. Okay, so now they're trying to figure out how to get back to Earth because they just saved everyone from Lord Zartog. We've heard everything. We've been able to hear you the whole time. The whole time? Yup, the whole time, son. I'm sorry I kept pushing you to live up to your legacy. It's okay, Houston. Maybe it's time I do. What's your status? Single. But there's someone I got my eye on. Oh, it's Luna, in case you were wondering. Oh, wait, are we talking about the mission status here? Yeah. Uh, well, everything's okay, but we have no way to leave. You still got the probe? The probe? It wasn't designed to return to Earth. We'll just have to chimprovise. You know, I kind of missed your stupid puns. Thank you. Titan's right. You'll need a complete redesign. How do we do that? Um... Let me let me put you with comment. First, we'll need to re-engineer the aerodynamic skeletal structure. Got it. Let me put you on with Luna. Go ahead. Comment. 
A second, you don't need thrust, huh? We need at least to reach. Uh, we need at least to reach the velocity to escape the planet's gravity. I think they missed the line there. We'd never like a bunch of like yeah. They missed the line. I don't know what it is. We never get that kind of thrust without a two-stage rocket. It can't be done. Even if we could build a ship, it'd never get off this planet. Ham, if you could shoot a chimp out of a cannon, you could shoot a ship out of a volcano. So yeah, but there's like volcanoes by the three suns. If the three suns align, the volcano erupts and it's filled with Fresnar. That's where, he, that's where he's getting it from. And that's why he was building a contraption to cover the entire planet area to destroy everyone's home. But now that's destroyed. But now they're trying to build a rocket to shoot out of the volcano. Which, spoiler, it works. Um, of course, geothermal energy. We don't have much time. Kilowatt, we're going to need some help. If we're ever going to get home, Planet Malgor at your... Wait, Planet Malgor at your service. Let's chimp this ride. I know I said to miss the puns, but that was just unacceptable. Standing by, awaiting instructions. I need duct tape. And I need it now. Yeah, over there. Right, that's good. We have to move fast. Load up those pipes. Seal them up, fellas. Kilowatt, we'll never forget you. Aw, uh, I won't either. Well, she won't win any beauty contest, but she'll fly. So they just built a, uh, so they just built a ship, basically. A small one. Probably. Maybe. Hopefully. Eh, let's not overanalyze it. The suns are aligning. You must hurry. The volcano is about to erupt. Oh no, what about re-entry? You're going to need a nose cone. Nose cone? Huh? No time. How are you going to build a nose cone? Uh, hello? Mission control. Affinity is in the launch chute. Okay, so... Lord Zartog, they're using him as a nose cone. <laughs> so, yeah. Five seconds. I can't look. It's louder than a cannon. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, ah. Uh, Woo-hoo. Woo. We did it. We, 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 we stopped the Fresnar. We're saved. Time to go home. Bye. 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 I can see the headlines now. Commander Titan returns to Earth. What will I wear? I mean, that goes with, uh, ticker tape. Approaching wormhole threshold. Here, here it comes. Take this, huh? But I won't know how... When we pass out, you've got to pilot us home. What are, you, what are you, nuts? I'm not an astronaut. Are you wearing an aluminum... Uh, are you wearing aluminum clothes? Um, yeah. Are you in a rocket? Yeah. In outer space? Yeah. Are you David Bowie? No. Then you must be an astronaut. Bring this bird home, hotshot. Whoa. I'm not cut for this. Ham, Luna... I believe in you. Wait, Luna, no! Titan! Titan? Whoa. You keep showboating, you're not uh, you're not in the circus anymore. Alright, so now they're heading back to Earth. He's the only one awake because he's the only one that can withstand the G's. But now he's having like flashbacks of like every mean thing he heard. Alright. Uh you're not in the circus anymore. Ham the third. You're Insubordinate behavior will get you chimp material. When will you straighten up and fly? Wait, when will you straighten up and fly? Right, you're a threat to the mission, Cannonball. Believe in yourself, Ham. Grandpa Ham, I can't do this. I'm not you. Well, of course you're not me. You're you. You can do things, son. Just do them your way. Whoa. That's them! Alright, so he just basically talked to his dead grandpa. Um, now they're re-entering Earth. Pretend... Hold on. I have... Pretend this ball here is Earth. They're like right here. They're starting to enter Earth. I don't, I don't know why I did that example. I just... I don't know. They're out of the wormhole. Infinity, welcome back. Ham, do you read me? Shh, the kids are sleeping. Ham, you have to align your ship for re-entry. You're coming in too hot. You've got to reduce your angle for re-entry uh, re by 33 degrees. Exactly 33 degrees? Uh, exactly 33 degrees. 
Uh, kind of exactly, or exactly, 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 exactly. If you don't nail that re-entry window, you'll be space dust. Great. Now engage, uh, ailerons. Check. Flick the turbulence coolers, uh, flick the turbulence coolers on. Uh, check. Adjust the heat deflectors and enable, uh, gyroscopic stabilizers. Uh-oh. Help. I can't reach it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ham, you're pitching up. No, 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 no. Wholly out of control -y. Hey, need a co-pilot? Lieutenant Luna. Sure, I do. Mission control, adjusting your angle to 33 degrees. So, she woke up now. And, of course, Commander Tyne is still passed out. Yes. Oh, mercy. We did it. Florida, we have visuals. What about Commander Koma? Should we wake him up? We don't need a third wheel on our date. Luna, oh... Lower the landing gear. Check. Uh, Houston, our landing gear is toast. Oh, boy. I picked a bad week to quit eating bananas. What now? Don't worry, son. Low-tech solutions are my spe specialty. Ham, remember the circus? Yeah. Good. They're going to crash. We're going to crash? But this time, stay on target. Roger that, Houston. Oh, why are you smiling if we're going to crash? Because crashing is what I do best. Yee -hoo, hoo hoo Come out with your paws up. Paws? Okay, so now the security is trying to find the two chimps that didn't go on the mission. Because they're hiding from them. So they don't have to do animal testing. Paws? They're chimps. They have hands. With the pose both thumbs. Come out with your thumbs up. And they don't understand English. Uh, they don't, they didn't put this here, but the guy just basically sounded like a chimpanzee talking for like five seconds. Kick it down. Yahoo. Wait, my rug. We all knew. Everybody knew. Okay, so one of the three main scientists in this movie, he had fake hair and it just flew off. Everyone knew when you want to go swimming at the office party. Here we go. Oh, what was that? I can't hold it. We lost steering control. Uh, ham? Crap, where is that there? Woohoo! Clutch! I said clutch! You got it! Oh lord, I never thought I'd be saying this. But you gotta crash this ship. What are you doing? No, Luna, don't! I'll see you on the ground while we close the chapter on space travel. So basically Luna had to climb on top of the ship and fix the little thing at the top that was steering the whole thing. Okay, and now this is back to the guy who's controlling the whole space thing. He thinks they're dead still. Everyone does. So now he's opening up a new idea. We opened an amazing new chapter in Paint Your Own Plate History. Whoa, just a little bit farther. Luna, you did it. I got control. Yes. The National Space Program is here by office. Oh, whoa. No, so now that ship that they're coming in, now everyone... In the space organization, everyone witnessing now just saw that come in. So they see something's coming back. No, Luna. Whoa. Oh, man. Whoa, whoa. Luna, Luna, get up. You're okay, right? Okay, so now they, they crash landed. Luna fell on the ground. But she's apparently fine. That makes no sense. Come on, Luna. I stayed on target this time. I was, I was trying to be more like you. You were always right. Yeah, and you made me better. Yeah, and... If I had to be without you, you won't be. Luna! Ham! But how'd you survive? Chin down, the puzzle thumbs in. Lieutenant Luna, you you crashed with style. Cannonball, I was wrong about you. You would have made your grandfather proud. Thanks. I guess I'm just a chimp off the old block. That's a good one. I'll have to use that line. Way to stick the landing, hotshot. I always knew you had it in you. What can I say? I'm an envelope pusher. Hey, Ham! Official Space Commander Shades, here's your banana berry back. It was almost as good as having you with us. The Infinity? But how? Impossible. The ship was not designed to return. It isn't even a ship. It is a miracle. A major scientific achievement. But who built it? I think we might want to retest our space chimps' IQ so now they figured out they're alive. Are you implying the chimps built this ship? We may never know who built it, but they brought it home. Senator! Senator, we're, so now there's a bunch of people interviewing the guy who's controlling the whole thing. Were you wrong about shutting down the space agency? I, well, 
I... I'd like to announce the opening of a high-tech facility devoted to the exploration of deepest space. With first-class facilities for the chimps and with a make-your-own Sunday bar, personalized, and personalized pocket protectors for everyone. Excuse me, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, can I, excuse me, over here, pardon me, pardon me, did the chimps encounter alien life? We will have to launch another mission to ever know for sure. Ready, Luna? Ready, Captain? Big fella? Born ready, cannonball. Streamers, I love him. Okay, so basically now they're going on another mission, they're famous, and the rest of this is literally just like an outro song. Everyone is addressed to me. Everyone is... Everyone... Everyone is... Everyone is... Whoa, whoa. Everyone's addressed to me. Everyone is... Everyone is... Can imagine so many monkeys in the Daily Mail. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, leave no trail. Never thought I'd had an buyer from overseas. But someone is sending me a stationary field with chimpanzees. Some chimps in a swimsuit, some chimps swinging from a vine, some chimps in a jackboot, some chimps that wish they could be mine. Starsky and a hunch, hutch chimps, a chimp who's sitting on the can, a pair of Dutch chimps who send their love from Amsterdam. Another postcard with chimpanzees, and everyone is addressed to me. It's concerning, I know the song. Another postcard with chimpanzees, and everyone is addressed to me. If I had to guess, say the monkey center thinks it's great. He's sending me, maybe he's sending me just to get irate. Right. I'm losing sleep. It's going to be late keeping me up all night. I thought it was funny about how I ne got a mo money on a monkey's fight. Some chimps, some chimps, and a hard hatch chimp and working, ch chimp, chimp and working on it chain gang some chimps who love cats burning rubber and a mustang birthday wishing chip a chip in the black like goth the going fishing chimp a british chimp in the bath another oh, no, postcard I, I, it's just some weird rap another postcard chimpanzee and everyone is addressed to me another postcard chimpanzee and everyone is addressed to me so how they felt follow me through i packed and moved my home no matter what they came to come they won't leave me alone another Another monkey in a mail could make me lose my mind, but looking at me shuffling through the stack until I finally find. Some chimps in a swimsuit, some chimps in a jackboot, some chimps in a hard hat, some chimps who love cats. Some... I, I got a shaved chimps in the chimps to avoid any hair. I got a depraved chimps dressed up in a woman's underwear. An what? Another postcard. Chimpan postcard with chimpanzees. And everyone is addressed to me. Everyone is, everyone is, everyone is addressed to me. Everyone is, everyone is, everyone is addressed to me. Everyone is, everyone is, everyone is addressed to me. And, oh. Another postcard chim with chimpanzees. And everyone is addressed to me. And I got the going, f got going fishing chimp. I have no clue what that song is, but yeah, that that was it. Oh, that was it, guys. I'm st pausing my time. One hour. Hold on. Let's see if you can see this. What? Oh no, you can't. There. One hour, twelve minutes, twenty-eight seconds, fifty-eight milliseconds. Oh yeah. I thought this would um. I thought this would take a lot longer. Like, I was assuming this would take two, maybe three hours, but no. I guess just since there's so many scenes in this movie where there's, like, no dialogue or there's a lot of pauses, and I'm just reading the lines at any pace I want, it just skips a lot of the movie. I got the beginning, and then reading the lines, just skipping a bunch of sections in between, but yeah. Alright, guys. That was that. I guess that was my punishment for losing as the judge. It, or, it doesn't even matter if I lost. It's just the winner got to choose what I got to do. So, yeah. I finally read the movie script. It took me four months 
to find time, but yeah. Alright, if you guys like the video, give me a sub. Bye!